This next video is on embedding and hyperlinking. It's a way to either put something on your page or a way to make your page take your audience to some other place. So we're going to start by going to YouTube. This is a little bonus YouTube session right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's start with something uh, nice and G-rated. We will go with Bill Nye, Science Guy. Uh, Bill Nye Science Guy Volcanoes sounds perfect. No chance of bikini girls there. Now, we have this video. Oh my gosh. This totally covers content in a neat way. It'll be a great introduction to get my students thinking before I ask them to do their own stuff. I want this video on my website. I want my students to be able to watch it from my website. This is how you do it. It's called embedding. So the first thing we want to go to is underneath YouTube videos, there is a share feature. Click share. And we've got this, this share, it's, it's a link. Or we have this fun button called embed. Now this is what code, so when you, there was a movie called The Social Network, it was about the Facebook creation and lots of code talk. This is code, this is HTML code for this movie right here. I want to copy that code, it's right here, copy the code, and go back to my site. And I want to put this in one of my places. So first, I have the code saved, I'm going to hit the edit button. And then I'm going to grab this HTML button. Sometimes it's all the way over here, but I've zoomed into my screen. I want to first, what box do I want to put it in? I'm going to put it in the third box over here. So I'm going to make sure my cursor is right there, because that's the target. And I'm going to click HTML. And this blank screen is the program's way of saying, ah, oh, I see, you know code. Insert your code here. So I'm going to go paste. There's the code. You can also change the height and width right here. And we're going to click update. And we see this kind of grayed out box that says YouTube video. Good. We're not done. Then you have to press save. And here is Bill Nye's video on my web page. Friggin' awesome. Now let's check this out. Let's go. We can press play in the video place. This is an ancient landscape. Or we can click the edit button and be like, eh, that wasn't the one I wanted. And cut it out. We can also just get rid of the video. We'll keep it for now. Save. So that was embedding. I also want to make a quick point. Lots of things can be embedded. This is the Prezi site. It's kind of these like moving PowerPoints. Lots of Prezi's, the author said, sure, take my Prezi. So let's press the share button. Embed, there's the embed word again. And there's some code. Copy, and guess where we're going? Back to the site, edit. I'm gonna put it in the second box now the HTML button and I'm going to paste it in. Update. So now I put a Prezi inside my first box and now we can view it. Lots of documents, especially Google Docs, have embed codes. So this is a way to put stuff on your website like live stuff you can watch and do things with, not just pages. Okay, the final thing that I wanted to cover, we have embedding. Now I want hyperlinking. So I want to take my people to a couple different sites. We'll call them site one, site two, and site three. 
Oh, let's pick a site. Let's try um, ooh, uh, nova.com science. So we got Nova. I like this site. I want my students to be able to get there quickly. What this is up here, this is called the URL or web address. I need the web address because this is the address I want to send people to. So copy. Uh, this is going to be site one. I want to hyperlink these words to take them to the Nova page up here. So I click this chain button. This is kind of like the symbol for hyperlinking. Do I want to take, I don't want them somewhere on the web page. I want them to a completely new web address. I'm going to paste in the URL. And you always, if it's going off the website, I prefer that my students open this in a new tab. And I'll show you what that means. Save. So that means that when they click on this, it's going to open up a new window up here, but they can still really quickly get back to my site. So that's how you hyperlink. Anything that has a web address can be hyperlinked.